This is actually where more, more darts is happening from half guard. If he locks his, like I said, if he locks up his hands, don't keep trying to hold on to half guard. You actually gotta, half guard is good for him here. I gotta let it go. I free my legs. Oh, let's move. Because remember, this is a strangle with an arm in, which means he's choking one side of my neck with his arms, and on the other side is my shoulder driving into my own carotid artery here. So my first task is to be able to uh, keep blood flow going in my brain. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate the shoulder from my neck by grabbing my inner thigh all the way down here. So the arm that's in the choke is the one that's activated here. Now immediately, once I grab my inner thigh here, I'm gonna go belly down, flat, like so. Okay, my, my lower body extends, which pulls my shoulder further away from my neck. If I'm balled up here, it's close. Boom. Now from here, I'm gonna post my other hand on the mat to straighten it and turn and face away until his, his uh, grip breaks. Well, as soon as it breaks here, then I go into my sit out. I turn back into it. Oh, there's some connection here. Flat, inner thigh. Post. I stay flat. My hips don't go up. I stay flat here. I just turn. It breaks. Again. Yeah, turn. So you can either have a bicep grip. This works again. Yeah, yeah, bicep. Okay, this works against bicep. Um, or you can have a hand, uh, vice grip. This hands. Okay, so we're using the power of our trunk rotation to break his hand. So I'm here, I'm in the choke. This is bad, when my hand's high, I'm gonna go down low. Escape my elbow underneath my body, go flat. As soon as I feel a break, I don't wanna keep turning away because then he can take my back or he can grab a guillotine. So I immediately go into my Sit up. I'm gonna reface him. Put my feet between me and my opponent's body. Right, Josh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, right. you do. Basically, anytime we're in a front headlock situation, that's what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to loosen this noose enough so that I can get back to feet between me and him. These are my dragons that can beat him up. Restrain. Again. Half guard, stay down here. Okay, I'm not, I'm not up like this. Hey, this, this won't help me. That'd be flat. If I go all the way through here, it, it's you could do it, but then you're stuck in bottom side. So, can uh, you get that during the, the escape? If so, more loosening or breaking his grip at like, the same time. You're saying if it doesn't break? Yeah, can he still get you while you're reaching for the thigh and turning out? Is if I don't get down here soon enough. But as okay. long as the shoulder's separated from my neck, I should not get tapped. Okay. Maybe his arms are so long or he's so strong that even though I'm down here, he can readjust. He's able to keep that shoulder attached. Uh -huh. But it's it'd be difficult as long as it, his arm length is some commensurate to your the broadness of your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's 100%. Let me know if you find something. Uh, all right, let's try it. One, two, three. There's a stage where it's too late to do the uh, Jean Jacques escape. So I've gotten, and basically I know it's too late because he gets his, he gets a bite here. Okay. And sometimes it just happens where you're like already across. You didn't even have an underhook. You're like right here, and it's 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 fully locked in. Okay. If I try to go and reach out, it's too long of a route, and it's blocked even. Okay, my last route is to once again release half guard, go completely flat, try to swim my arm out to the far side here. Now, once I'm here, now I just have to worry about the north south choke. Because this arm's out of there, now it's the rear. Now my neck is, is open. So, again, one, one more time here. Like I said, this is mainly when you get the underhook. Sometimes they lock up a Darce choke. Actually, rewind. So, in this case, 
sometimes it comes off like a knee cut pass where I'm framing here. He knee cuts and goes right behind my head with this arm here and I'm just kind of framing it. I'm like already here. So this time he more attacked it. And then, so, like I said, it's too long of a path to get down there. And I'm about to get tapped probably. So as he starts to go for it, I gotta kind of see if I can get that free. And then I gotta defend the north-south choke. Try that real quick. So this time you're not reaching the underhook, you're more across already. One, two, three. 